guys, welcome to ITS Information Technology Skills. On today's video, we're going to learn how to use menu strip in VB.net. So basically guys, pag sinabi natin menu strip, it display application commands and options grouped by functionality. So to better understand menu strip guys, let's have Microsoft Word as our example. The menu strip guys here is these letters or words. Okay, so yung file, yung home, yung insert those are the menu so how do we add a menu strip on our vb.net okay so dito sa my toolbox natin guys hanapin lang natin ang menu strip or you can type here on the search box yung word na menu or just type the first letter then the display naman niya yung mga pagpipilian natin so you can find here under menus and toolbars we have the menu strip kapag hinover natin yung menu strip it displays the definition okay yung sabi niya dito it displays application commands and options group by options okay so that is the menu strip so we'll drag and drop lang natin siya then we have here a bar okay so basically itong bar na to this is the menu strip or what we call as the menu bar okay then dun sa baba makikita din natin we have here menu strip you can change the name of the menu strip if you want but for me basically hindi ko siya pinapalitan ang mga pinapalitan ko yung names or the content inside the menu strip okay so let's say maglalagay tayo dito ng mga menu strip Okay, so, gayahin natin yung mga menu dito kay Visual Studio. Okay, so, maglagay na lang tayo ng file, edit, view, and something else. Okay, so, wag na lang natin ilagay lahat. So, to add a menu, click lang natin tong type here. And, type natin yung word na gusto natin. Okay, so, let's say we have file. Palitan na lang muna natin yung size of the text. Okay, so, to change the size of the text, of course, you need to click the menu strip. Pwede dito sa bar dito or click mo dito sa nasa baba. Okay? So, they're just the same. So, let's change the first property of the menu strip. So, let's have first the font property. Okay? So, font property is basically used to change the font size, font style of the text. Okay? So, gawin lang natin siyang size 22 para mabasa lang natin siya. Then, click OK. So, we have here a file. Then, another. Click lang natin tong type here again. Then, type lang natin yung gusto natin na menu. So, kung titignan natin, if we click file, pwede tayong maglagay ng another text dun sa may baba niya. Okay? So, this is what we called as the sub-menu or sub-options. So, example lang nito. Click natin tong file dito. Meron tayong mga another options. Okay? So, pili lang tayo dito ng ilalagay na lang natin na i-click. Okay, so let's have open and save. Okay, so same. Click type here to add the text. So let's have open. Then let's have save. For the edit, let's have this go to. Pero of course, mamaya papalitan na lang natin yung mga functions nila. So, tag na lang natin dito yung go to. For the view, let's have like that na lang muna. Okay, so maliban dito sa mga text or labels na nilalagay pa natin, pwede tayong mamili, it's either a menu item or a combo box or a text box. Okay, so pwede tayong mamili kung anin dun ang gusto nating ilagay. Okay, so if you want to learn more about the different toolbox in vb.net, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para ma-notify ka kung meron tayong mga bagong tutorials about Visual Studio and of course about computer programming. Okay, so aside from labels, pwede rin tayong maglagay ng image para dun sa mga nilagay natin na labels. So let's say maglagay tayo ng image kay C. Right click mo lang siya, then you can select set image. Okay, so click natin siya, then pwede tayong mamili. It's either a project resource file or a local source. Okay, so pinakaiba lang na yan, guys. For the project resource file, gagawa siya ng folder niya that will be added to the project. Then we also have the local resource. Mamimili ka dun sa mga available sa'yo na images. Okay, so let's just click this part and import. Okay, kasi mag-import tayo ng image. Then locate the image that you want. So for me, I'll be using an icon save and just click open or double click this one okay so nailagay na dito then click okay then observe we have their image for the save so aside from the image guys we can also have shortcut for the command kaya po meron nakalagay dito show shortcut keys so how to add a shortcut keys we have there the 
property of that label we have here under property we have saved those trip menu item okay so it is an item on the menu kung i-click ko naman yung open we have here open those trip menu item okay then pag tinik ko yung file we have here file tool strip menu item. So basically nagche-change na siya ng name na hindi ko na siya pinapalitan kasi kung ano yung mga labels na nakalagay that is the starting. Unless you're going to type it whole, pwede mo siguro palitin lang yung name niya para hindi ka naman nahihirapang mag-type. Okay? So that's how the shortcut key first of save. So hanapin lang natin sa my properties window ang shortcut keys. Okay, so nakalagay dito none kasi wala pa tayong sineset. That is the default. Okay, so click this arrow. Then meron tayong modifier, shift, and alt. Okay, it's an option for you to have your modifier. So basically, save is control S. Okay, so we have control. Then hanapin natin yung key na S. So... Pag nag-okay na kayo or just click anywhere on your screen, tignan natin, meron na tayo ditong control S. Okay? So, hindi natin yan tinag dito sa label niya. Ang nilagay lang natin siya dun sa my shortcut keys niya. Okay? So, why it displays the shortcut key? Kasi kung titignan natin, naka-check po yung show shortcut keys. Pag inan-check natin yan, mawawala po yung shortcut key niya. Okay? So, we want to display. That's why we want to check that one. So, for the open, we have Control o So, same. Click lang natin dun sa shortcut keys. Then, we have Control Then, hanapin lang natin yung O. So, that's it, guys. Meron na yung shortcut keys. So, let's have the other properties for the menu strip. Aside sa shortcut key and dun sa font na nagamit na natin, we also have the grip style. Okay? So, the grip style, naka-default is hidden. Ang grip style, guys, is this one. Yung pwede mong i-grip or i-hold yung menu strip. So, just click this one and click this arrow. Ang makikita lang natin dyan is hidden and visible. Okay, so let's click visible. Observe, meron tayo dito ng mga dots natin dito sa tabi ni file. That is the grip style. Okay? So, it's up to you if you want to place that or not. Okay? So, for me, I don't want to place that. I'll set it to the default one, which is hidden. The next property, we have the items. So, if we click this button sa items natin, observe, we have a new window. Under the new window, we have here the menu strip or the name of our menu strip, which is menu strip 1. Yun po yung nandito. Okay? So, kung titignan natin yung menu strip 1 natin, meron tayo nung mga menu strip items natin which are the file, edit, and view. Yun po yung makikita din natin or yung mga una nating nilagay. So, kung gusto mong i-arrange yung items, we can use this one. Okay? So, let's say, gusto natin mas mauna yung edit kaysa kay file. Click lang natin siya and meron tayo ng mga arrows natin dito. Okay? So, this arrow up will move the chosen menu pataas, arrow down, pababa. Okay? So, observe. Click ulit natin yung arrow up. Na-arrange na po siya. Okay? So, nauna na po yung edit kay Sakai file. Pag tinik ulit natin siya sa baba, mauna na si file, then si edit. Okay? So, same yung arrangement din nila dito. Ito namang X na to guys, is the delete. Okay? So, we don't want to delete that. Kaya, hindi ko na lang po siya i-click-click. The next property, guys, we have the layout style. The default one for layout style is the horizontal stack with overflow. So, kung i-click natin itong arrow na to, marami tayong pagpipilian. Let's try na lang si vertical stack. Tingnan nyo, pa-vertical yung arrangement niya. Okay? So, I want the default one. And meron pa pala akong nakalimutan. Ang menu bar is used for the whole screen. Okay? So, basically, kung ano yung size ng screen mo, ganun din kalapad or kaluwang yung space na yung occupy ng menu strip. So, what if you want to place a label or a menu dito sa right side? So, let's have another menu. Let's have exit. So, itong exit na to, gusto natin ilagay dito sa my right side. So, ang gagawin natin, we have another property which is 
I forgot kanina. <laughs> that is the alignment. Okay? So, dito sa alignment, nakalagay dyan is left. Okay? So, the arrangement of the text kasi or the menus are sa left. Kung gusto natin siyang start sa right, click lang natin to. Then, select right. Observe, we have exit dun sa right natin. Kaya, kapag niran natin to, makikita po natin na yung exit natin ng menu is nandito lang siya sa right. Kahit palakihin natin yung size ng screen, siya ang mag adjust So, ngayon naman guys, subukan naman natin mag-code dun sa menu strip natin. So, let's say, gusto mong mag-open ng another window or form using the menu strip. So, gamitin na lang natin tong edit kasi meron tayo dito ang go to. So, dito sa project natin, let's try to add a new form. So, punta tayo dito sa Solution Explorer. Right-click lang natin tong name of the project. Okay, so the name of my project is Windows App 2. So, right-click ko to. Then, select Add. Then, pagka-select natin ng Add, meron tayong mga pagpipilian again. So, dito, piliin lang natin yung Windows Form. So, click natin yan. Then, we have this window. So, dito, meron tayong class, Module, Interface, Form, Windows Form, and others. So, dito sa baba, we have a name. So, this is the name for the new form. So, the default one is Form 2 kasi meron tayong Form 1 dito. So, let's say ganyan na lang muna yung name ng form natin. Wala pa tayo kasi maisip na <laughs> name. Okay, so, just click Add if you are done with your form name. So, makikita natin dito sa Solution Explorer natin, meron na tayong dalawang form. Meron tayong nung Form 1, which is yung ginagawa natin kanina, and yung bagong gawa natin na form, which is Form 2. So, balik tayo dun sa Form 1 Design. Then, we have here Go To. Double-click na lang natin yan para mapunta tayo sa Code View. So, ngayon, nasa Code View na tayo. So, dito makikita natin, meron tayong Go To, Tool Strip, menu item underscore click okay so that is the default event for the menu item okay kung gusto natin palitan yung mga event natin just click this ito yung my thunder and magpapakita po yung mga other event so ang gagawin niyang action is to display form 2 so copyin muna natin tong code na to okay dito sa code natin meron tayong form 2 dot show so ibig sabihin i-display niya yung form 2 so try natin i-run so, we have here the first form. Okay, nakikita natin dito yung mga menus natin. So, click natin yung edit. Nandun yung go to. Tapos, click natin yung go to. So, click lang natin siya. It will display form 2. Okay, so basically, ganun po siya. So, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung pag-create ng forms, how to name a form, and other properties of a form, I'll be placing yung link down below or dyan sa taas ng screen nyo. So, same. Kung gusto natin lagyan naman ng code yung exit, okay? So, double-click lang din natin siya. As a exit tool strip, menu item tayo, underscore click. So, ito naman yung code for exit. We have me.close. So, try natin yung exit. So, click lang natin to. Observe, nag-stop po yung run nung program. So, what if you want to use the shortcut? So, lagyan natin ng shortcut si exit. So, same, punta lang tayo sa my property, shortcut keys. Let's say, control X for the shortcut or exit. So, makikita po natin dun sa my shortcut key, meron tayong control X. Pero, bakit hindi po siya nag-display na shortcut? Because, kung titignan naman natin ang mga menus kasi natin, hindi yan nagde-display ng mga shortcut. Tignan natin dito sa my file kay Visual Studio, ang may mga shortcut lang is the sub-menu. Okay? Pero dun sa mga menus niya mismo, wala tayong makikitang shortcut. So, same with the menu strip dun sa mga codes natin. Okay? So, try naman natin i-run, then try natin ng Control x so, here, naka-open ulit yung project natin. Then, I'll be pressing Ctrl X. Of course, hindi nyo na yun makikita. Wala po akong image for the keyboard, but you can try it on your own. And, na-close po yung program. Here, let's have, let's say, a message box na lang for the open. Wala na tayong yung open. Let's say, meron tayong message box. Inside the message box is i-display na lang natin yung file open. Sabi, ganun na lang. 
So, dito guys, meron tayong message box. Ang display niya is a string na file open. Pero of course, wala pa tayong i-open na file. But if you want to learn more about opening a file in Visual Studio or BB.net, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para ma-notify ka kung meron na yung bagong video natin about computer programming. Okay, so let's try. So, under file, meron tayo nung open. The shortcut is Control O. So, let's say pressing control o on our keyboard and magdi-display po yung message box na file open. It's either pwede mong gamitin yung shortcut or the menu item itself. So, ganun lang po yung pagkukuhod kay menu strip. Simple lang po siya lagyan ng mga events. So, kung nakatulong tong video na to, don't forget to like. And of course, if you want to learn more about computer programming and other computer stuff, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!